Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And today we have all of these nail reserve polishes. They sent these over to me into separate shipments. I think these are from a collection together and these are not. Um, but they are all perfect for the Valentine's season, so I am going to show them to you. Man, this white balance is really glowing. All right, so I have this swatch wheel and I'm gonna put them all on here so that we can look at them together. But first, let me show you some of the items they sent. So they sent me a base coat. Nail Reserve is vegan, nine free, including HEMA, and cruelty free. These are large bottles, 15 milliliters. Here is the label if you wanna look at it. It is a soak off gel. These are high quality with a really good consistency. I don't like a gel that is too thick, especially not a base and a top coat because that just adds thickness to the nail. But these are also not too thin. I like how you can make thin layers with it, but it is thick enough to stay where you need it. They did also send me the remover, which I believe I featured in the last nail reserve video. So what this is, is it's a product that you paint on top of your gel polish when you're ready to take it off. You would buff your gel polish up to get that top coat off, and then you paint this on here and you let it sit, and it deteriorates the gel and makes it crack off. You may, depending on your thickness, need to do more than one time at it, but it's a really handy product to help you have to do less soaking in acetone. There are instructions, of course, if you want to have a look at those. Let's start looking at the polishes. So this is Red Addict. These are their basics. So there is a rainbow of colors for these that are just the addicts. For example, we have the White Addict at Weswell, but we're gonna look at both. All right, so Red Addict, it is thick, and creamy and opaque. Like look how that is going on there. It is not streaky, it is not patchy. That looks absolutely amazing. That is a really good red. A nice, solid, fire engine, lipstick, red. And one coat is obviously enough. And I really like that because you don't want thick nails, and the more you have to build up for opacity, the thicker they're gonna get. Next, we have City of Love. This one is a red sparkle. I'm really excited about this. I love a good glitter. All right, look at this one. It is so pretty. This one's a little bit more of a sheer formula, which is good when you have glitters or chunks of things in your polish because you want to be able to see those through the depths. And if it's too opaque, you're not going to be able to. And so this is a really great formula for a glitter. And look, it is self-leveling. Look how nice that goes on and what an even finish it gives. If you want to do a second layer, you can, and you'll still be able to see this first layer. But if you want to wear it by itself, you can, because look, look how consistent it is. Look how creamy it is. Look how opaque it even is. It's, again, that sheerer formula, but that looks beautiful. All right, let's have a look at White Addict. When choosing a white, you really do want a stark, opaque, formula. You don't want your white to be yellow at all or gray or even pinky. You want it to be white white, crisp, linen white. And this white is that type of white. So you can put this with any other colors and it's going to look great and you can use it any time of the season. You can use it in the winter for a nice snowy effect. You can use it in the spring to go with your pastels and it's going to look amazing. We have Night Shine. This one is another glitter. Super excited for this one. All right, look at this. So this one is a silver metallic -y polish and it does really just glisten. Also really great at self-leveling. It's not leaving really obvious brush strokes and even when it does leave a little bit during the stroking, as you let it sit for a minute, it goes ahead and levels off so that you don't have streakiness in your result. 
I love a good chromey color and if you wanted to put a chrome powder on top of that to make it even more dazzling you absolutely could but it is beautiful on its own. All right now we're hitting the pinks and this one is called Away We Go. All right this one is a very light baby pastel -y, nudey pink a really great shade I'm not that big of a pink person myself but when I do go for a pink it's more of like this tonal family I like it to be more of the the milky nude type because I am going to wear it generally as a base color with some kind of accent to jazz it up and this is really good for that because it gives you a nice healthy tone while also not stealing the show. Next we have Blossom. So this one's a little bit darker, a little bit more peachy, but also in that lighter family this is still within the range of pinks that I would find myself using more often. Look how creamy that looks. That is just stunning. I really like that one. It's almost a fleshy tone, but just a little bit more lively. And then we've got this hot pink. It's called Bliss Pink. All right, so Bliss Pink is for your neon girlies, your Barbie pinks. This one is bright and stunning and attractive and it really catches the eye. This one is not a base color. This one is a star. You'll definitely want to pick this one when you want to make a statement. It is a beautiful pink. I do like that one very much especially for the Valentine's season. Next, let's look at this purple. This one's called Best of Summer. Purples are one of my favorite shade ranges. I have more purple polish and blue polish than any other color, and I am just so drawn to them. This is a really beautiful shade of purple. It's like plummy and vibrant and really great for this season as well. And I would also say that this one would work really beautifully during fall. And you know, one thing that's interesting, gel polish often stinks. It has a weird smell, but nail reserve polish doesn't. It's almost like a juicy fruit smell, which I like. All right, we have a blue, my other favorite color. Blue is the one. All right, this one is a deep, midnighty navy type blue which is one of my favorites I am a dark aesthetic type of gal and so I really like the inkier shades and this one definitely does the trick if you were to put it on super thin you might could get it close to like a cornflower blue but for the most part this one is gonna be in the midnight family I really like that one. Honestly, cannot wait to use it. Last but not least, we have Aphrodite's Lover. This is a brown. So personally, I feel like the browns are the most underrated shades. They definitely have a place in the nail polish and paint world. A nice brown can give you a really great base to put something vibrant and beautiful on top of. It also can be a standalone color because it does look really great on its own. Plus it is in that natural tones family. So you can use it for a nude if it is complementary to your skin tone. It's a really great staple to have. Plus any of you will know, browns and pinks go really well together. If you wanted to do a brown and pink Valentine's set, these would be perfect for that. You could even do some like embossing when you pour acrylic powder over, make it a bit of a sweatery texture with hearts. That would look stunning. All right, so here are all of the colors we've looked at today. Definitely let me know which one is your favorite. I think my favorite's actually this one. I just really love the way that sparkle glistens. I bet it would look really great in a low light with a, a flash pointed on it. 
There will be links in the description to get to the Nail Reserve website as well as a discount code. Definitely take advantage of that. Save some money. I love saving money. A discount code is my type of party. And I will also have all of these polishes listed. So if you want any of these in particular, you can definitely look those up and get those as well. I definitely do recommend Nail Reserve Polish. It is just such a great quality. It is opaque. It goes on smoothly. It is long lasting, especially if you do good nail prep and you use the base that goes with it and then a nice top coat that goes with it. But I will wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your interaction. Thank you for being subscribed. I definitely appreciate all of it. It helps the algorithm. It helps my channel grow, which helps me. And as you know, I do love making these videos. And so I hope you love watching them and let me know what kind of nail styles are you looking to do for this valentine season and which of these colors do you think would make the perfect valentine's nail set i'll see you in the next video goodbye